this sweet little girl, this four-year-old girl who goes to the stadium, um, Yankee Stadium yesterday, uh, to watch the Yankees and Twins play a, a matinee game. She's there with her, her grandparents. Uh, Todd Frazier swings the bat in the fifth inning, and it goes right over the visitor's dugout, right on the third baseline, and it hit this little girl, according to fans who were in the stands, right in the mouth. I cannot imagine. This was a, uh, you know, and now and now with the next-gen stats, they can tell exactly how fast the ball was traveling, 105 miles an hour. 105-mile-an-hour hard baseball hits a four-year-old girl in the mouth, and I must say this. I have uh, my beautiful four-year-old at home, um, and uh, I can't even – I don't want to even see the video. I haven't watched it. All I've seen is just the, the sight of the players – uh, sick to sick to their stomachs, and um, this shouldn't happen. Shouldn't happen. Now, in 2015, Major League Baseball decided to tell everybody um, and make a uh, a league rule that you have to expand the the netting. That's really been from when I grew up. Um, from on deck circle to on deck circle, I guess. Yeah, just right behind home plate, right. really. And you had to extend it to at least the inside part of the the dugout, meaning the one that's closest to home plate. Now, ten of the thirty major league baseball teams have gone further, extended the netting for the entirety of the dugout, all the way to the the part of the dugout that goes closest to the foul poles. And some teams have even gone further. Now, if you remember, there was a real sports piece just a couple of years ago on this very subject that in Japan, the netting goes all the way around the entirety of the infield and outfield from home plate to the foul poles. And and people don't complain about their view. And the question is that needs to be posed to Major League Baseball teams that have not done this. Is it so important to have the in-game experience for those who are sitting there saying, I'm not coming because I've got to see through a net when you see something like this happening? And I understand it is a freak accident that of all the people that the ball finds, it's a four-year-old girl right in the mouth. And according to NJ.com, the father, uh, 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 quoting a report from WABC Radio, says, The girl hospitalized Wednesday is, quote-unquote, doing all right. Just keep her in your thoughts. Do we want? Do really want? I mean, and, 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 and for anybody who might sit there and say, it is on them to not bring a four-year-old in the seats, that it's such a freak accident, that it's on them to make sure that she's protected. How many times have you gone to a game, you're trying to sit down, uh, how many times have you gone to a game and you're on your phone? How many times have you gone to a game and the person in front of you needs to get um, inside the row to your left or your right and you stand up so they can get past you and then you sit right back down and it takes a couple of seconds to orient yourself to maybe move things down at your feet. You got a beer down there. You got the peanuts down there. You got a hot dog down there. There's so many different times that you are not paying attention to the action, and God forbid this happens to you. God forbid. And you can't sit there and say, my four-year-old is going to get hurt today at the stadium, going into the stands. And you can't sit there and say, it's going to ruin my view, when who out there listening would say, you know what, I'd rather have that seat down the first or third base line Uh, beyond the dugout or right over the dugout because there's no netting there rather than those seats right behind home plate i don't want seats behind home plate to take your take your seats two or three rows behind home plate (laughs) save them because there's a net i don't want to see that i don't want to be right there you know having an ability to talk to the guy in the on deck circle i don't want i don't want to see that i really don't because i'd rather be further away from the action because there's no netting nobody nobody so the best seats in the house have already had netting. Where were where were they sitting? They were sitting on the third baseline, a few rows uh, oh, behind the dugout. Behind the dugout, okay. Doesn't need to happen. 
doesn't need to happen anymore. And it is sort of like, you know, um, I, I heard I forget who said this. It is it is like a dangerous intersection. Somebody's got to die before they put a red light there. Before they put a stop sign there. We've seen this with bats flying into the stands. This isn't the first time I you know, would equipment from the not field care if they put netting all all around the place in 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 major league. All games. the way to the outfield. All the way to the outfield. Yeah. Wouldn't care. I think that's stretching it. I, I I think I'm okay with it to the end of the dugout. After that. Well, I mean, there's still there's still some shots that can really get past that netting. I mean. Wh- how about the compromise of past the dugout and past 20 feet past either bases? What's the big deal? Like the photographer's kind of den is, there. What is the big deal? And then there are, you know, again, just check out this real sports piece. In the Tokyo Dome, they have a set of seats that's in front of the netting for people who just say, hey, we don't you, care. Don't, you don't care? And they give them each a helmet and a glove. Yes. That's what they do, along with a card to basically say, watch out for 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 projectiles coming your Those way. Those signs are all over Major League Parks. The watch for foul ball signs. I think there's a compromise. We don't need to go all around the ballpark, but I think there is a compromise that we can do here. This happened in the NHL a few years ago. Right. And... You know, they, they met in the middle, and now there's netting all, you know, all at NHL stadiums, and I think it's fine. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that video, be sure to download our app, and I'll be sure to move week six games to Saturday for that wedding you have to go to.